What's going on YouTube? Well, today I decided to make a long overdue update video on my 1987 318. Uh, many of you haven't seen this thing in a while, and uh, reason being, I haven't had an engine in it. So, uh, yeah, so the story goes on it. Uh, the original P218 needs a rebuild, um, so I pulled that out, and I'm saving that rebuild for a later date until my budget allows and I have the time to do it. Uh, I want to do it the right way. I want to do everything ground up. Um, I don't want to cut any corners. Uh, so that's the reason I'm waiting until I have enough time and the funds available to do that. So uh, in June, I posted a wanted ad on Craigslist looking for a, uh, just a used Onan for this tractor, something I could throw in there and run it around with. Uh, something that was you know, in decent shape and didn't need a whole lot of work. Uh, so a uh, gentleman responded to me. He had a Linamore LX770. It was a repower uh, out of a, a John Deere 317. Um, and uh, according to his story, he did the service work on a 317 for the older gentleman who owned it. Um, and the reason it was pulled is because the older gentleman wanted to go back to the original Kohler uh, Series 2 that it had in it. And he just didn't like the Linamore anymore. So we swapped it out and the engine sat in his shed for a few years, um, basically until I bought it. So uh, some specifics on the engine. It's an LX770. Um, apparently it had 700 hours before it was pulled and he said the guy used it to mow. Um, so I wish I could see proof of 700 hours, but oh well, you, you know, you take a risk and uh, the deal he gave me on the engine was just too good to pass up. So anyway, I bought the engine about 40% complete. Uh, it was missing the carburetor, intake manifold, flywheel shroud, uh, PTO, uh, exhaust headers, and a couple other miscellaneous things. Um, so anyway, I took those parts off my, uh, my P218 I pulled out of this tractor, the original engine, and I swapped them on it uh, to make it a complete runner. And that project took place around September uh, and if you guys want I can post a whole uh, time-lapse video of me doing it I shot some with my GoPro um, so if you're interested I can upload that video uh, just let me know and so I got that engine ready to run it was I, or I had it running like early October probably about the first week of October um, and uh, and yeah I mean it's been great ever since I've had to do some other work to it um, and on a side note, I have my 80 cart hooked up to it because I'm doing some landscaping work. And uh, I'm hauling some just sod and dirt, miscellaneous um, stuff I'm digging up. So, so yeah, so anyway, um, I, uh, I got that engine ready to go around the first week of October and I dropped it in. Um, so, you know, looking at it, it looks basically just like another P218. Um, whereas it's really a LX770, but they're almost identical engines. So, uh, so yeah, uh, another thing I've done to it, uh, I had to rebuild the carburetor. I did that around February um, so this thing was run it would run really rough when it was cold um, it would surge and whatnot so I rebuilt that uh, bought some new uh, intake manifold gaskets put those on and ever since the car rebuild this thing has run like a top and uh, and yeah this otherwise um, yeah I put the uh, PTO off my old engine on it as you can see got that all adjusted it's running good and on a side note this 38 inch deck I picked this up in around the end of September uh, I saw it on Craigslist and the deal was just too good to pass up and usually I wouldn't buy a deck this small for a tractor of this size uh, but you know I couldn't pass up that deal but ultimately I want to find a 50 inch deck for this. 
Um, I don't want, I don't really don't want to dump any money into my old 46 because uh, it needs a lot and it's got rust holes and whatnot. And that's the original deck that came with this tractor. But I, I mowed a couple times this fall with this 38, and I tell you, it's got high lift, high lift blades. It'll, it'll lay, lay, lay down some pretty good stripes. Um, yeah, it'll stripe pretty well. So, uh, so yeah, that's why I have it on here. I had it on my one of my 88 322s. Uh, but I wanted to try it on this thing uh, once I got it all dialed in and Yeah, it spins it no problem So yeah back to the Linamar um, As you can see I got my original Shroud on here uh -huh. So I really don't know the, the year of the Linamar. Um, I wish I did um, But I would guess and say it's somewhere around the late 90s uh, I can't say exactly. I wish I could. Um, but uh, but yeah, it runs strong. It doesn't leak. It has 15 pounds of compression in each cylinder. Um, so it's a solid engine. It, uh, it's been a joy to run and work on. And I picked up a new battery for it back in January. Uh, it was really due for one. Um, but uh, yeah, it charges. Uh, I've got my original hour meter hooked up here. Uh, those are original hours on this tractor, this frame and everything. And, uh, and yeah. Um, so another thing about this tractor, I'm, right now I'm trying to decide whether I want to use it as my plow day tractor for this, uh, this spring, for especially for PA plow day. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but, you know, if I do, it'll get... Uh, 18 by 8 and a half uh, V61s on the front. I have rims off of 420 uh, that are metric rims as well. Um, it'll fit this. So I'd put those on the front and then I have my 26 by 12 by 12 uh, Carlisle True Powers that I'll put on the rear. And of course I'm going to have to put my three point hitch on it. As you can see this tractor does not have any three point hitch. I don't think it ever did. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is this thing's otherwise besides the engine is pretty much original. The seats are original. As you can see, it's kind of seen better days. The back's in decent shape. Um, but uh, but yeah, overall it's a solid original tractor. It's you know it's in its work clothes. That's how I use it. Uh, I have my GoPro mount here. Uh, when I used to videotape plowing and whatnot when I used to plow snow with this so uh, So yeah, I got to decide if I want to configure this as a, a plow tractor for the spring or what um, And it'll pull my Brindley three-point plow But uh, hopefully I can find a 50 inch deck for it. I'd love to um, There's a lot out there. I just got to buy one so, uh, so yeah, just another thing I'd like to point out on this. Uh, so a fellow YouTuber, Ragnick of Mechanic Life, sent me this seal from my oil filter. And Onan calls this an oil filter gasket. And what this does is it helps direct the cooling air coming off the flywheel around and keep it inside, keep it sealed up so it, the maximum air gets across the cylinder head which is here and uh, I believe these engines came stock with them but um, you know they all go missing because you know people do maintenance and they they never put them back on they chuck them um, so you know I, I guess in a way it'll help prolong the life of this engine by keeping this right hand head cool um, so again uh, Drew thanks for sending me that and uh, Anyone interested, uh, go check out Drew's channel. All right, now I'm gonna fire this thing up for you guys so you can see it run. I'll probably drive it around as well. Um, so uh, yeah, here we go.